Oslo, Norway's lovely capital, is among the world's largest capitals in terms of land size. However, just 20% of this land mass has been developed, which is quite remarkable. Parks, protected woods, hills, and hundreds of lakes make up the rest. Parks and open spaces are an important feature of Oslo's urban landscape, and they can be reached from practically anywhere in the city. The various roads and trails connecting the city center's public spaces make it a treat to explore on foot. It also contains several pedestrian-friendly locations, including Carl Johan's Gate, the city's main street. This large avenue runs from Oslo Central Station at the waterfront all the right up to the Royal Palace, passing several of the city's attractions such as the Palace, the National Theater, the historic university buildings, and Oslo Cathedral. Oslo, which is consistently recognized as one of the greatest cities in the world to live in, in has a vibrant cultural scene and a plethora of exciting things to do, and is known for its theaters, museums, and galleries. Watch this complete video of attractions and things to do in Oslo to learn more about these and other locations to visit in Norway's capital. 1. Vigeland Sculpture Park one of Norway's most famous tourist attractions is the spectacular Vigeland Sculpture Park, which is located within Oslo's famed Frogner Park. This one-of-a-kind sculpture park, which is open all year, is Gustav Vigeland's life work and features 650 of his dynamic bronze, granite, and wrought iron sculptures. Most of the sculptures are ranged along an 853-meter axis in five themed groups. The oldest is the Fountain Group, which depicts the cycle of human existence with a 16-meter-high monolith, which is made up of 121 interwoven human bodies. Travelers will also want to spend time visiting the rest of Frogner Park, which includes picnic areas, recreational facilities, an extensive rose garden, and the country's largest playground. The Oslo City Museum is also located here, as is the Vigeland Museum, which is located just beyond the park. 2. Akershus Fortress the beautiful Akershus Fortress rises above the Oslo Fjord on the Cape of Akerns, built by Khan V at the end of the 13th century. This is a great place to spend the good portion of a day exploring. Take your time wandering the grounds and ramparts, which offer stunning views of the harbor, before visiting the modest chapel, which houses Khan VII's burial and the ruins of the ancient medieval fortress. The Museum of the Norwegian Resistance, often known as the Norwegian Home Front Museum, is also housed on the premises. Prepare to spend a few hours here learning about the German occupation from 1940 to 1945. Head to the Norwegian Armed Forces Museum at Oslo's historic arsenal if you still have any energy. This intriguing museum houses several weapon displays and exhibits that depict the history of the Norwegian troops and their defense of Norway throughout the years. 3. Royal Palace The Norwegian Royal Palace which dominates the cityscape and is situated up high on the northwestern end of Karl Johans Gate, was constructed in 1825. During the summer, the majestic 173-room building is open to the public for guided tours exclusively, with English-language guides available four times per day. The White Parlor, Mirror Hall, Great Hall, Banquet Hall, and other notable rooms in the palace are all included in the tour. All year, visitors are welcome to roam the lawns and gardens or witness the changing of the guard. The Norwegian Nobel Institute is located just south of the palace and is where the Nobel Peace Prize is awarded. 4. Akia Brigia Oslo's Akia Brigia neighborhood, built on an abandoned shipyard, is the city's beating heart. Its gorgeous architecture that magnificent blend of new and old that perfectly complements Norway's stunning natural beauty is on show and astounding at all hours of the day and night. The seafront boardwalk, good shopping, great restaurants, and cozy year-round patio bars with their comfy carpets and fires pull an estimated 12 million visitors to Acre Brig each year. Visit the recently opened Estrup Fjernli Museum of Modern Art while you're there. The museum is divided into two buildings. One houses the permanent collection, which includes works by Andy Warhol, Damien Hirst, and Jeff Koons, and the other has rotating exhibitions. 5. Oslo Opera House The 1,364-seat Oslo Opera House is home to the Norwegian National Opera and Ballet and the National Opera Theater. Its angled external surfaces give it the appearance of slipping into the city's water. The Opera House, which is made of Italian marble and white granite, is Norway's largest cultural structure since the 14th century Nidaros Cathedral in Trondheim. Aside from the many performances, guests can take part in a range of intriguing public programs 
and behind-the-scenes excursions, as well as take a stroll on the building's roof to take in the views. If you're in Oslo in August, don't miss the month-long Festival of Chamber Music, which features dozens of chamber music events featuring globally famous performers from all over the world. The majestic Akershus Fortress, with the stunning Oslo Fjord as a backdrop, hosts the performances, the Oslo Jazz Festival, which takes place in the same month and in the same site, is another major draw for musicians and spectators. In mid-October, Oslo plays host to the Ultimate Contemporary Music Festival, which includes a competition for new orchestral compositions. 6. City Hall The City Hall, which overlooks the Oslo Fjord, is a massive functionalist structure that was completed in 1950. The project had started approximately 20 years before, but was halted due to the Second World War. The City Hall is distinguished by its red brick front and two towers measuring 63 and 66 meters in height. Those bricks, which are bigger than modern bricks and much more equivalent to those used in medieval buildings, were fired specifically for this building. The City Hall is decorated both inside and out with images of historical individuals from Norway by some of the country's most prominent artists from the mid-20th century. The sculpture of Harald Hardrada on horseback was created by Anne Grimdillen, whilst in Hallvard, Oslo's patron saint, was sculpted by Nick Schill. The marble-clad main hall also features frescoes by Henrik Esrensen and Alf Rolfsen depicting the city's evolution and major historical events. 7. Holmkollen Ski Jump Since 1892, the Holmkollen Hill has hosted ski jumping contests, providing a link to Norwegian sporting heritage as well as national identity. In 1952, the Winter Olympic ski jumping events were held here, and the FIS Nordic World Ski Championships were hosted here four times. The ski museum is housed within the ski jumps framework and takes you on a journey through Norway's 4,000-year history of skiing. There are artifacts from Norwegian polar exhibitions on display, as well as cutting-edge skis and snowboards. The ski jump's highest point features a panoramic observation deck with views of Oslo and its fjord. 8. Viking Ship Museum The Viking Ship Museum, which is part of the University of Oslo's Cultural History Museum, features incredible artifacts from four separate Viking burial sites surrounding the Oslo Fjord. The Osberg ship shines brightly in the museum on the Bygdøy Peninsula. This 9th century burial ship was discovered in 1904 to 1905 and is as good as new because it had been sealed in waterproof and airtight mud for so long. Similar ships from Thun and Gokstad, as well as all the objects discovered buried with them, such as beds, tiny boats, a full cart, tent components, wood carvings, textiles, and other valuables discovered in Viking burials are no less interesting. The film Vikings Alive is displayed on the walls and ceiling as you go through, providing additional background on Viking burial traditions. 9. Fram Museum This museum in the Bygdøy Peninsula honors the daring polar explorers at the turn of the 20th century, including Fridtjof Nansen, Anna Sverdrup, and Roald Amundsen. The Fram, a wooden ship which was used by all three explorers on both Arctic and Antarctic missions between 1893 and 1912, and went further north and south than any other vessel in history, is the focus of attention here. The Fram, which was extremely large and shallow, had an amazing structure that allowed it to float on top of ice sheets. On board the Fram, you'll learn how humans and their dogs struggled to survive in some of the world's harshest environments. The Joa, which carried rolled ambulance in via the Northwest Passage for three years until 1906, is also on display at the museum. The Northern Lights Show, as well as interactive exhibits like the Arctic Simulator, are worth seeing. 10. Oslo Cathedral Oslo Cathedral has been restored and refurbished multiple times since it was consecrated in 1697. The tower was rebuilt around 1850, and the interior was refurbished shortly after World War II ended. The main doorway, with its carved bronze doors, as well as the ceiling paintings by H. L. Mower, the Baroque pulpit and altar, and the stained glass by Emanuel Vigeland, are all noteworthy elements. After that, pay a visit to the Oslo Bazaar, which is located along the medieval church walls. These intriguing halls, which date back to 1841, are now home to galleries, cafes, and antique dealers.